I'd say it's a 50-50 blend between people coming in and knowing pretty much exactly what they want to people coming in and saying, hey, I need something to move this from here to there. If they come to us with a spec as far as material construction that they're looking for, you know, size equipment, we can base it on that. Otherwise, if they don't come to us with anything, then we'll put together our recommendations and use that budgetary proposal as a baseline to start adding in options or, or different, different things for them to consider. The fact that we're dealing with a relatively small company that can handle big projects and we have one line responsibility. Um, you're not gonna get passed around from department to department to department. You're gonna deal with the same project management group from start to finish on the project, from you know the, the proposal standpoint, engineering, detailing, design, QA, QC. You're gonna have one project manager assigned to the project and deal with it throughout. Now, reading through specifications, at times you find exceptions, um, things that aren't good practice either for the application or for the equipment's overall success and we will take exceptions we'll bring those up but uh, we're not afraid to take exceptions we want to make sure that the customer ends up with the best piece of equipment for the job not necessarily something that conforms to a spec. There are applications that come our way that we just aren't the right fit for. We want to make sure that whatever we sell is a solution not a perpetuation of an existing problem that they're having. We're giving the customer what they really need and what they really deserve if they're spending this kind of money, not something to meet your specification and provide them with inferior life.